Right, so I am here at the entrance to the Rio Seco Waterfall Trail. So let's see how easy this trail is or hard this trail is. I did this before years ago and it was easy. So let's see if it is still easy. This time I decided to drive my car straight up to the edge of the road so I don't have to walk the road itself. And you can park here, but it is obviously a more of a risk. But you can park further down the road and walk up, but you'll have to pay to park by that guy's property. So yeah, let's see how this hike is today. So you'll know you're at the entrance of the waterfall trail when you see this sign. There are also some bins around in the area so you could keep the place clean. Throw your rubbish in the bins, please. One here and the other one across here. One thing I want to show earlier too is the shoe graveyard. So I've heard this hike is about 30 to 40 minutes long. Let's see how quick I could do it. And yeah, join me on the journey. All right, take a park here and then the entrance to the trail is across there. Looks like due to the rain and everything, this tree fell onto the trail. This is one of the more popular hikes in Trinidad. Um, is because it's very easy and you can tell by how trampled the trail itself is. Very muddy. So you'll come across a fork in the road. One going left, one going right. So you'll see this sign. No litter bugs. We are going to take this left side today. And this is the right side. Walking along here is one beat out trail because of how much people is been walking here. Muddy. So there are a lot of fallen trees here though. Like last time when I came, years ago, it didn't have so much fallen trees. So I see some casualties earlier on this hike. Somebody's shoe didn't make it. <laughs> About 10 minutes walk into the trail, you would see this area where it has some trees that fell and there's like a landslide down. So you just have to be careful where you're walking here. I love this little natural step. So this hike has no steep inclines really so far. So fingers crossed because my cardio ain't the best. So we can see how it goes. So I actually taking my time along the trail because how it wet and it was kind of rainy earlier today. Um, it's muddy and it also has a lot of leaves on the ground potential for snakes so I just trying my best to keep an eye out and keep safe a landslide here but they put some logs for you to cross over easily well, yeah, look at this huge tree that fell that's a deer and that river down there is very far down <laughs> right so let me see if we can get a better look as to how this tree fell so it looked like it came from on top there slide down not take away a piece of the tree with it and that is the tree there big tree damn it has some slippery rocks as i coming down here and i was like wait but it would be good if they had a sign so about 30 minutes into the hike you'll reach this river and we are continuing along the trail right there had to be real careful in this place yes yeah more than fallen trees i see i feel like a tree will fall on my head just now so i to be real careful <laughs> i just joking i just joking one day so i came across this sign and it's a poem about the mora trees so i didn't know but apparently it's mora trees that surround this area so all the fallen trees that you see in this area are mora trees and this is the poem coming up the hike i met this sign 
to Sulphur Springs to the left, which is here, and then to the waterfall to the right. So we are going to the waterfall today. And just like that, we've made it to Rio Seco waterfall. It is beautiful. Look at the color of the water. I have never been to Rio Seco waterfall and it has been empty. This is one of the most popular waterfalls in Trinidad and I have it all to myself today. This is peace. This is amazing. It's a little rope there for the people who can't swim across. That's people with the light vests and stuff. It's really cool. It's a nice place for, to bring your family. The hike was easy. So, in terms of rating the hike now, I'll give it a solid 3 out of 10 because it isn't hard. It's have some inclines, some declines, but it isn't that hard at all. And the hike took me about 40 45 minutes to complete, but that's because I was stopping and recording videos and stuff. So, definitely an easy hike. I would definitely recommend for you to bring out your family and everything. Keep the place clean. Um, in terms of value, I give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. The waterfall is amazing. It's very powerful. It isn't the tallest in the world, but it is very powerful. It has deep places for you to swim in and shallow places for you to swim in. So I definitely recommend this hike to you and your family.